So I didn't just wake up, but on days when I have no kids, I have a tendency to <clears throat> lie in bed for a few minutes to an hour-ish um, before getting out of bed in the morning and sitting at the table, checking Facebook before I start any actual real work. So uh, that's what I've been up to this morning, but I'm here to talk about dreams again. So I, I fell asleep probably around 1 a.m. I haven't been sleeping very well lately. And I woke up around 5 and fell back asleep. And during this like two hour window when I was sleeping, I had a dream that I was in a shopping mall and I was trying to get out of the shopping mall before all the stores closed because what was happening was that um, all of the, the grates, those metal grates that they closed the stores with, they were putting those down without like checking if anyone was in the store. They didn't care. Like basically, you're still in here. You deserve to be trapped inside of this store until this, the mall opens in the morning. And you had to go through shops to get out of the actual mall. And I had left my desk, my desk inside of the mall, which I had brought there to meet with my friend, uh, Carolyn. And we were going to look at some journals that her grandfather left behind. This is not a thing that I know about Carolyn in real life, mind you. This is something that uh, was very important to dream Carolyn. I think because I just watched Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade like two days ago, and it's been a while, so I was thinking thinking a lot about those movies. Um, so we're, we're looking through this journal, and there's a map inside of it. And all I remember is there were some bad guys, probably Nazis, who were also after the journal. And on the desk was a different map for, like, I think it was a map of the world that she and I had plotted a book out on some time ago, which is a thing we really did. And we, we were trying to, like, distract them by glancing at that map suspiciously. So she was keeping them busy while I was searching through the desk for the actual journal. And I found it and like pulled it out and sort of waved it at her. But instead of being cool, she like something on her face betrayed that she saw what she was looking for. And then they started chasing us and I was trying to get into my car, which was not my car. It was the wrong car and all the weird dream logic that started to make escape very difficult. And then I woke up. So I'm not sure what part of my subconscious that came from. I have a friend who does dream interpretation, so I'm going to send this to her. The last one I talked about uh, involved a lot of blood, and she said, no, that's a good thing. That means you're very passionate. I'm like, well, I guess it means something at least, and not just you watch too many slasher flicks, because that's what I would have taken away from that. Anyway, you guys have a good day. I'll be back sometime to talk about some more lucid dreams, I'm sure.